so fellow developers, are your teammates on writing the best kind of code, optimizing it to the best possible way, fixing stuff appropriately? Don't worry because Amazon Q is here. Amazon Q is your code enabler, it's your code reviewer, it's your code assistant, all packed into one. It's not Devin. But it's better than GitHub Copilot and every other extension out there that you might be using. Watch this video till the very end to get blown away properly and let's get started with Amazon Q. Welcome back everybody. So Amazon came forward with Amazon Q, which happens to be the most uh, capable generative AI powered assistant for accelerating software development and leveraging companies internal data. So as far as leveraging companies internal data is concerned, it's not a biggie. Uh, almost there are quite a lot of AI platforms that are offering that and you can even use different LLMs uh, along with different rack techniques to um, sort of achieve that as well. The quality and the accuracy can be debated, but in general, it's like uh, it's like no biggie. What Amazon Q really stands out is the score of software benchmarking that it has achieved and the kind of different scores that it has gained out of multiple case studies and how it improves uh, software productivity and stuff. So it specializes into generating code, testing, debugging, and you can use it for multiple steps in terms of software development lifecycle. So I see it as a code reviewer and code enabler. So having a code assistant is one thing and having a code reviewer and enabler is another. You can use almost every LLM out there as your code assistant, but to become code enabler and code reviewer, you really have to be specialized in, in every aspect of writing code which I believe Amazon Q really offers. So, and alongside that, you can obviously use it for, you know, your business results, code bases, upon your enterprise data repositories to analyze trends and uh, talk about your data. So just a bit of an introduction, we have Amazon Business Q as an outing which sort of generates lightweight applications, uh, just through your text. Uh, we will be exploring that in the future, but for the current video, we're sticking to Amazon Q Developer, uh, which sort of, uh, as we have talked about it, can be used by so many different layers of developing uh, solutions. So here are a few good things listed about Amazon Q Developer. So it's available with different range of IDEs. We'll be using VS Code to sort of use it and you can use it to gain assistance as we know um, this is a cool little thing where you can uh, achieve multiple scenarios just by you know as it says amazon q developers generate real-time code suggestions ranging from snippets to full functions based on your comments and existing code uh, oh yeah it also supports cli completion so, and natural language to bash translation. That's why it says that it's also available, but it's just in Mac OS, not in Linux or Windows. So yeah, we can go ahead and explore that as well. So this bit is a bit more interesting fact about Amazon Q developer agent takes a lot of work out of task, da, 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 da. sure, and this part specifically. The software development agent achieved the highest scores on the SWE bench leaderboard and leaderboard light. So this is kind of cool. Like uh, this sort of makes it instantly better than GitHub Copilot. And if any other extension you're using within your VS code. And here we have a few case studies which says 25 person initial development up to 40 person developer productivity increase. That is insane. So uh, with this said, let's just go ahead and VS Code and let's try it out. So we have to go into extension and we have to say Amazon Q. So you don't really need any access keys for this. Uh, if you have a skill builders account, that would suffice. So let's go ahead and install it. Perfect. So we have it. Let's see where it is. So 
I already had my skill builder account set up, so that's why it didn't take a lot of time with me. So here we are. Hi, I'm Amazon Q. I can answer your software development question. Ask me to explain, debug, or optimize your code. You can enter slash to see the list of quick actions. Perfect, let's go. Uh, plan and implement new functionality across multiple files in your workspace. So this is kind of cool. Uh, and obviously we have transform your Java 8 or 11 Maven project to Java 17. So we can use it to sort of upgrade any, any particular package or even the whole project. I wonder it sort of transforms an angular migration as well. That's fine now. So let's go ahead and let's create, uh, I would say, dev generate a fast API starter project. Okay, let's find out generating your answers. Okay, we have a list here. I'm Amazon Q. Yeah, sure, we know. Set up a new Biofound project directory, virtual environment, install fast API. I already have it installed. So it gave us a few suggestions. And at the end, would you like to generate the suggestion for this? Uh, we'll review a file diff before inserting. Sure, why not? Perfect. So it generated us with a main.py, run.py. It also generated tests for us and a requirement txt, environment variable, and readme. Perfect. Insert the code. Code has been updated. Would you like to work on another task? Let's see. Perfect. So here we are with everything. So here we have a simplistic from fast API and more fast API. We have a root statement here, which is said. So it says hello world, then we have readme. Oh, this is great. This is absolutely great. So in the uh, requirements, we have fast API, UV corn, and we have run.py. Let's go ahead and try to run it. So I'm just gonna go into Amazon Q test repository and I'm gonna type Python run.py. Perfect, so it's running. Let's go ahead and check it out. Localhost 8000 and it's working. Let's go ahead and check the docs. So the swagger thing comes to fall with fast API. So perfect, uh, everything is in place and we just did it with just one line of code. All right, let's go ahead and ask Amazon Q about this particular. So we can say, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, work on a new task. Your session is closed. What changes would you like to make? So let's say I would like to add a new route to main.py, which returns a random number. All right, so, whoa, 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 whoa. So update main.py and it actually lists everything. Import the random module at the top of the file. Oh man, this is awesome. Added router handler function, function name get random. Awesome, and this is the code implementation. Random number, random int from zero to 100. Awesome, update the test, test main.py. Oh man, this is, this is awesome. I don't know how cool Devin is going to be, but this is insanely cool for me. I mean, uh, just look at this. It has every little step, just like a developer would think, uh, you know, uh, by updating the main, then going ahead and updating the tests, and then eventually updating the readme, which most of the developers don't do so. All right, so it came up with a few changes and let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, wait a second. Where are the updates? I cannot see the up. Oh man, this is awesome. Great. And let's go ahead and let's see if we have it within the readme. Do, 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 do. 
Wait, what was what was the thing regarding README? Uh, add a new section usage. Okay. Okay. Where's usage? All right. Oh, here it is. So to get a random number, you need to send a get request. Perfect. Perfect. This is so cool, guys. I'm pretty sure you're blown away by this as well. It also generated like a sample ENB file for us over here uh, with some random names, which is kind of cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if it can sort of explain a particular code. Uh, 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 uh. Send it to Amazon Q. Oh, explain. All right, so I'm Amazon Q. Yeah, we already know the code block that you've provided is a fast API route that generates a random number between zero and 100 and returns it as a JSON response. It has given you pointers from different, from the route definition to the method. Wow, awesome. Also, just I noticed that if you right click and Send to Amazon Q. You also have fix, optimize, and refactor option, which is, which is, which is awesome. So yeah, I think this has a huge potential, and definitely now that I uh, go back to its website and when I see this, up to forty percent developer productivity in terms of evident case study. And now I get it. I mean, uh, it's undeniable. This really fastens up the process. It it knows everything. And uh, the uh, it's really verbose in terms of its explanation. So it's kind of cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you can drop your thoughts in the comment section. And this is it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.